Hi everyone, we've just flown into, um, well I have anyway, Childers. Uh, it's an aerodrome just about 25 nautical miles out of Maryborough. <laughs> Here we had a coffee, a good chat. Wind's getting up now, it's a bit thermal this morning, but I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Um, oh, before I do, uh, on the way in here, um, I knew about a new solar farm that was being built just to the east of here, and I've got some photos here now for you to see. Oh, a bit of video actually, I'll show you that. It's a little bit bigger than the one that we saw last week that is in uh, near Maryborough, which is this video or did we video yeah we videoed so here's a bit of video of the other one so it's very interesting they're very large for this area uh, privately owned um, solar farm power generation station areas I suppose it's a bit of a corporate um, money-making scheme I think business anyway so a couple of questions for you today just wondering actually really what it is you guys enjoy seeing on YouTube uh, on my channel so for example we do a little bit of adventure flying now and then we do some technical stuff might do some odd vlogs like this obviously the technical stuff covers maintenance on the aircraft or something like that modifications something about camera work weather meteorology and whatever else there might be just let me know in the comments if you like just send me a message or something to say what it is you like to see and we'll try and start steering the channel towards that direction and we'll get a better feel for what it is that you like to um, to watch. I know that most of you want to learn something from, from something I do and we'll try and um, up the game, if, so to speak. Anyway, I'm about to depart Childers. Um, it's about a 25 minute flight back to Maryborough, I guess. 25 nautical miles, but I get a headwind. It's about 15 knots probably now. and. It's a bit thermal, a lot of cumulus going on. Anyway, talk to you in the comments, I guess. Just arrived back in Maryborough. Uh, not too bad, bit thermal, but it's all fun. Um, that last shot you just saw was Fraser Coast Showgrounds. Today is what they call show day for the Fraser Coast uh, today. So that's why I'm able to fly. It's Friday. I've got the day off and two more days for the weekend. How good is that? This guy was asking in the comments, how did I attach and mount my 360 camera to the pylon in the passenger position? So this is how I did it. I used a couple of Velcro straps um, and I've made, uh, put some padding on the pylon first so as not to damage the paint and also um, just made sure it's secure. I've got a, um, a lanyard as well to the camera so that should something let go um, there is also a point where, you know, another point of attachment um, but another piece that I made is a, it's a piece of aluminium, just a flat strip of aluminium with a quarter inch bolt through it. Um, and I've put some protection on that and that's what I've velcroed onto the back of the pylon. Um, and that quarter inch bolt's what the camera mounts onto. There's also a locking nut on there so you put the camera on and then you do the locking nut up to hold the camera in the position you want it to be to lock the camera in place. That's how I did it.
so I hope you had a good day out with me and sparkles the trike um, there's one other thing I wanted to tell you and that is that we have a very interesting video coming up in the next one when we look at the well a special aircraft really something very different non triking non fixed wing stay tuned for that I was going to tag it on the end of this video but there's a bit more to it than what I could really have time for so uh, we're making another video and we'll see you in that one and I look forward to catching up soon thanks for coming and we'll um, say goodbye for now see ya Bearabah traffic truck 6340 enters lines up rolls runway 12 Bearabah traffic